It's Amanchu. Welcome to Divergence SMP. Today I want to make a ranch for sniffers. Now, if you saw my last video, you know that I struggled trying to get sniffer eggs. I really had a hard time and only ever found one. Fortunately, other players on this SMP have not had the kind of bad luck that I have. And Diggin and Buster both gave me two sniffer eggs. So now I have five sniffer eggs. And also, uh, Diggin also gave me a couple of pitcher pods, which is going to help me a little bit. So that's going to get me off to a really good start making a ranch for my sniffers. The thing is, I'm not the first person that's to build a habitat for and started breeding sniffers on this SMP. I might be the fifth person to do it. But the way I'm going to build a farm for the things that the sniffers produce is going to be a bit different from probably what you've seen anyone else do. I'm going to make this farm so that it doesn't require a minecart or rails to do any of the collecting. But before I even place these sniffer eggs, I need to build the ranch. I need to set that up. I think I'm going to place it on this outer ring. I built this big outer ring in my base and haven't really done much with it. That will change now. Man, I like this new mosaic bamboo and I like the sound it makes when you walk on it. In some ways, sniffer eggs work like turtle eggs. You place them on the ground and they will crack over time and eventually hatch. With turtle eggs, they do most of their hatching at a particular moment in the night, so you kind of have to stay up through the night. With sniffer eggs, that doesn't really make any difference. Turtle eggs have to be planted specifically on sand in order to grow. Sniffer eggs can be planted on any block and eventually hatch, but they hatch faster on moss blocks. It seems to be something that sniffers like. They also should be able to dig up the special plants that they dig up in moss just as easily as they can in grass. So I'm going to replace most of the floor in this area with moss blocks. It feels a little too uniform, so I'm going to mix in a little bit of podzel here and there. So, like I said, the sniffer eggs will grow up faster on moss blocks than the other blocks. So let's just place them down. Wow, these things are huge. Also a difference from turtle eggs, I can hop up and down on them all I want. There's no way I'm going to trample these things. They're, uh, I can't say they're bigger than I am, but these are certainly the biggest eggs I've ever seen. Over time, these should start to crack. Just like with turtle eggs. And eventually they'll hatch. Now, you may think I'm getting ahead of myself because how am I going to collect all of this stuff? Because these sniffers, when they grow up, they're going to start digging around in this moss and picking out torch flower seeds and what was other ones? Pitcher plot. It's hard to say. Pitcher pot pods? Pitcher pots. They're just called pitcher pots. Pitcher plant pots. Pitcher plant, pitcher pot, whatever. They're pitcher pots. They're going to start picking these things up, right? And they're just going to start digging up the torch flower seeds. How am I going to collect them? Haha. <laughs> Well, let me show you. With this guy. This Alay. Every update tends to introduce new mobs. Some of them are cute animals that the novelty runs off on pretty quick. But uh, Alays are something that I've never forgotten about. I've always loved these guys. They are so useful. Right now, this guy is holding... Uh, I think it's a dark oak fence post, but if I just right-click with the open hand, I'll take that away from him, and I'll give him a pitcher pot. 
Now that guy will look around looking for more pitcher pots. If it finds one, he'll p drop it a ways away here. Drop it over there. And I have to break its lead, because otherwise it's not going to get to it. It's going to run over, pick up that pitcher pod, and drop it back to me. But what I can do, instead of letting it drop it to me, if I activate a note block, it will home in on the note block instead of to me, and then it'll dump any of the pitcher pods that it picks up at the note block instead. So I'm going to use this allay and then another one, which I'll give a uh, torch flower seed to, to go and pick up all that stuff. Ooh, it started to crack. It started to crack already. For now, let me secure that guy there. And I'm going to have to set up a collection system with a note block in the middle of it that the LA can run to. Put a redstone torch here. Peter here. On three ticks. Redstone dust there. The block there. So the redstone torch. Redstone torch is powering this block and that's transferring power through the repeater. Put a block there. And now the repeater powers this block, which powers this redstone, which powers the block the repeater's on. Turns the repeater off. This is a nice little timer circuit I use in a lot of places. Oh, I got a baby to hatch. Look at him. So adorable. Your big nose and flappy ears. Oh, there's another one. And another one. Yeah, I planted the eggs all about the same time. I guess they'd hatch about the same time. Okay, let me get back to this. I can admire them in a minute. Here, the note block mm. makes a different noise depending on what's underneath it. I want to put something underneath it that's not going to be too offensive in a noise because it's it's going to make a lot of noise. Let's see now. Chest there, then a ring of hoppers. So, yeah, Peter, there, that's not going to be too bad. Now in order to keep the LA from dumping things on top of that note block, let me get some trap doors. If I just put a block on top of the note block, it uh, doesn't make any noise, so I need an airspace above it. the collection system set up. The sniffers are out and about. They're not going to sniff up any plants until they grow up though. I think all I need now is another allay because I have one allay to pick up the pitcher pods. I need another one to pick up the torch flower seeds when they dig those up. There's another one. them a pitcher pod for now. Shoot. There we go. Alright. Now both the LAs are loose, free to roam. I don't remember how long it takes these guys to grow up. It's either 20 minutes or 40 minutes. While I wait, I wonder if I can make another farm using the same setup.
All right, so I made a couple of automated bee farms here. Now this is kind of covered up. Let me open this up so you can see it. So this one's gonna collect bottles of honey. That's why I have these empty bottles in the dispenser. This comparator will see how full the beehive is. When it gets up to a fullness level five, the redstone output here is gonna be strong enough to reach all the way to this end block. One, two, three, four, five blocks. And that powers this block and that the power is transferred through these repeaters to this block, which activates the dispenser and retrieves a bottle of honey using the glass bottles. Now over here, I just have a dispenser back here facing into the bee nest with some shears and an observer facing down into the bee nest. Anytime the bee nest has a change in its state of uh, honey level, it activates the observer, which will, hopefully because of the redstone on top here, activate the dispenser. Unlike with bottles, a dispenser with shears, if it doesn't have anything to shear, it just won't do anything. But I had to use this setup for the empty bottles because if a dispenser with empty bottles in it doesn't have anything to do, it'll just spit out the empty bottle. And I don't want that. I only want it to activate when the hive is for sure full. I might as well get a couple more lays. One holding honeycomb and the other holding a bottle of honey. And then they can pick up the drops from this as well. I don't need a special collection system there. It can all go into this chest. If these sniffers ever grow up. <laughs> oh, another thing I should point out here the bees need flowers to get the nectar from. You can use these pink petals. They will actually be attracted to those. And you can also use the leaf blocks from the cherry blossom trees. They will use those as well. So the bees are perfectly happy with that. Let me get a couple more lays in here and wait for the sniffers to grow up. I don't know how long it's gonna take. In theory, you could feed them torch flower seeds to help them grow faster, but yeah, that's gonna be a rare resource, I think, especially at first. Because as I understand it, these sniffers, as adults, they don't dig up the seeds very often. Itchy, scratchy, sneezy. Ooh, that one grew up. I'm gonna call you Truthy. The name tag looks really funny on it. <laughs> it's so huge! And there's one more around here somewhere. Sharpie. Thank you, Diggin and Buster. All right, one of them's grown up. The rest of them shouldn't be too far behind. Oh, there's another one. Scratchy just grew up. I think I might be short on bees here. Oh, yeah, I can breed them. I can breed them with these cherry leaves. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> it's taller than me. Well, this guy, they're sniffing at the ground. But I think when they dig up seeds, they uh, do something special. I'm gonna look for that. Oh, there it is. They're digging something up. Both digging something up. The LA should run over and pick that up. Drop it off. Ah, that's a torch flower seed. Okay. Alright, so let me find one of the LA's that has the seed pods. This one. Pitcher pod. I'll take that from you and give you that. Look at that, I got another torch flower seed. Get one more and I'll like start to breed these people. I'd like to get a lot more of these guys. Hey. Yep, and it's working. They're digging up the seeds. And the ladies are running right over and picking that stuff up. Did they pick it up? 
good. I already have two torch fire seeds. Two torch fire seeds. I can get them to lay me an egg. I think they laid an egg. Yes. <laughs> One eternity later. So, I have over time turned five sniffer eggs into 20 full grown sniffers. Once I got 20 sniffers and they were all fully grown, I stood here for mm, only a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, just to see how much I could get from the sniffer ranch in that time. Let's see what we got over here. That's not too bad, actually. I mean, it's not great, but it's not too bad. This ranch is not going to be really fast. It's not going to give me incredible productivity. But it, it gives me some of these torch flower seeds. And, uh... Oh, one other thing I should mention. I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but since I don't have a collection system for the honey bottles... I have to make sure that every slot in this dispenser has glass bottles in it. Otherwise, a honey bottle will end up back in the dispenser. And then the next time the dispenser activates, it could try to use a honey bottle on the uh, beehive. And that would just end up ejecting the honey bottle and not collecting honey from the hive. Anyway, you can see I have a lot of these pitcher plants. Like, a lot of them. And that's just what I got in the process of trying to get enough torch flower seeds to breed up the sniffers and get up to 20 of them. I had, um, you see these upside down stairs here. I had these upside down stairs along here too, but the lays were kind of getting caught between the chest and the upside down stairs and it was causing problems for their navigation. So I placed those with glass blocks. But I would say I got a nice successfully working ranch and although it works slowly, it is at my home base. I'll be here a lot, so I should be able to collect a lot more of these torch flower seeds and pitcher pods. And I really like using a lace for farms like this. It, it saves me the trouble of ha having to work out the redstone, trying to uh, get a hopper minecart and rails to run over everything. Especially when I'm working in a confined space where I didn't have a lot of depth underneath the floor to build such a thing. So I enjoy using LA's, but I have in the past made a bee farm for honeycomb and honey bottles that didn't use LA's, and you can check out that video here. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the cool things I have planned for the future. I, I have a lot of things in mind. I like probably my next three or four videos I already figured out what I want to do next. There's just so much to do in this new 1.20 update. Like I say, it might be until 1.21 before I get through covering all the stuff in 1.20. Just wait till you see what I have in mind for next time on Amon Chooses Divergence SMP.